I guess I don't really know what you're asking, Karakin. Like, do you want me to do something about the shadows? Like, is that a leading question, or is there some problem that somebody's complaining about, or something else? Did you tweak them? I didn't do anything to any of that. Let's do that again. I think Adam changed the shadows. He was working on, I believe, the hooking up the drop shadow stuff so that it actually worked at some point over the last three weeks. Because I don't think he was very happy with how they looked, especially in the grasslands and the day levels. Why in the fuck is Google changing my damned URLs on me? That's... What the fuck, Google? What the hell is this? Like, I sent an email here, and... Google changed the... Google changed the image links. What? Why would Google do this? Why would Google change all of my fucking image links to something else that is... It's not okay, Google. Seems pretty suspicious to me, Google, if you're changing my emails around. Copy the image address, and it's given me a long list of trash from Google. Until an actual URL. Alright, so the issue is that the bucket is not allowing 
the bucket permissions are set in such a way that it's not allowing uh, people to read the stuff. Um, I thought I, I thought I fixed this. So if I go to S3, go to my Maelstrom distribution, Somebody bought a gift on Sindel or somebody else, and our email template for the gift is totally fucked up. So this, this guy bought it, and um, it sent him to this thing, and uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, well, we'll see if I get a customer support email over that. All right, well, I'm getting these emails now.
This doesn't look right. This doesn't look like it's actually refreshing the heat maps. Yeah, yeah, it's not refreshing the heat maps because it's all screwed up, and Google's fucking lying to me because it injected the, uh... God, this is, this is sort of crap that I dust. Like, a lot of people don't realize happens with systems that you're using. Is, uh, like, all the images that are in any of the emails that you get through Gmail and all that sort of stuff... Uh, Google is actually like reprocessing all those images behind your back and stuff like that. Like people don't know this, but they are. So like I'm seeing the images that are cached by Google for the images that I actually am hosting myself somewhere else. And it's like, yeah, I see what's going on here. So the question is, what in the hell am I doing here that... This URL is working for my other pieces of data, but of trash. All right, let me see what policies I have on my other buckets. Because I've got a policy I know somewhere which did this. I just have to go find it. There it is. All right, so those those things should now be publicly accessible. Let me just go make sure that I can actually read them. Yes, it looks like it should work. Let's see if Google actually updates my images for me.
All right, let's see if we can bust some caches with um, what this. Oh, Lucas. Good evening, sir. I'm currently just upset with Google. Those aren't the those aren't the images, are they, Google? No, nope. they're they're definitely not the images, and you're just lying to me. I know it. I know you are. because Google's reprocessing the images on me and as a result of that the emails aren't working properly and it's like well why can't things just be simple It'd be like no it's because we'd like to harvest your metadata and see what you're doing and then we like to do that anyway I'm using Gmail for this stuff because that's what a lot of people use and if you have the same problems as normal regular folks then you won't be surprised when you have the same problems as regular normal folks. See, it's not the same. It's not the same goddamned image, is it? Or am I looking at the wrong thing? All right, that does look like the same thing. All right. All right. 
So what I'd like to do is I've got the heat maps, I've got the emails getting sent. I need to get and you get this stuff running out on AWS and set up the jobs for it. That's what it seems like. All right, all right. So, what I need to do is actually get things deployed. How do I do all that? So we need the jobs. So we need a fill all events. We need a fill game data and we need a generate heat maps. So let's change our file types to binary. So I'm going to need to start actually hooking this up. So this is session report tool. Uh, we want the all events tool. Fifth config path is set. All right, hours. Let's do 24. Clients are test and maelstrom game inverts are test and prod db is maelstrom telemetry yes that is correct and this is starting fill all events job all right and we've got our one gigabyte of memory this is fill all game events job so that's going to be our game data tool Hours 24, Maelstrom, Maelstrom Telemetry. And then we have Generate Heat Maps, which it looks like has the exact same thing. So, twenty four hours, right?
And the Stuart Jenkins build on here. Let's also submit our heat map generation stuff. So I need to sync configs for tools, and I need to sync configs for Maelstrom tools, so we'll do that. So this is fill all events. This is fill game data. And then this next one is Generate heat maps. All right, so that'll be the heat maps and everything else like that. Can I open Explorer to that window? No. Try uploading that game. All right, getting there slowly. All right, so let's sync down our build tools. Downloading all the scripts. Um, the next thing I need to do is I need to go to the Maelstrom telemetry database and make my tables for it. Where are our tables? All right, so all of our tables are there now. Our build tools are downloading on the operations Jenkins box. So we finished syncing the build tools, our telemetry. Let's try the telemetry ETL game data. Starting up all events report creator. Um, that's not what it's supposed to say. Mailstream game data tool. Um, ETL game data has fill game data dot shell. Fill game data dot shell is supposed to call this guy.
Wait, what? Killed? Execute... Marcus... Wait, what? What? Why did it die? Starting up fill all game. All right, so that thing just uh, still when it should. Why did it explode though? So it's loading credentials. It got that telemetry database is up and running. Going through step one sixteen. I must have accidentally hit something that killed this guy. Like if I hit the config, did it blow it up? Probably did. Can I allocate memory? Failed to map blah bytes for committing reserved memory. All right, so why is this? What are we on for this operations box? It's on a T T2 micro. All right. Well, that's probably what's going to be going on with this is that it's a little bit too small. So let's go to the instance types. Oh, come on. Give me just take me to the fucking instance types page. If I, Alright, so a t2.micro only has one gigabyte of memory, so I'm definitely going to need like a t2 small or a t2 medium. Uh, let's upgrade this to a t2 small then. So let's stop you. So t2micro just doesn't have enough memory. It's only on one gig, and that's just not enough for our ETL systems. So a T2 small is probably all we need. So let's upgrade. It looks like it's going to do exactly what it needs to do. It just um, needs a bit more memory than we're currently giving it. And I don't know if I turn check config on for Jenkins on that guy. Let's go make sure that it's going to be able to run.
All right, it looks like Jenkins is back online. Let's kick him off again, see what he does. So I didn't have to kick the box, good. Means I got that set up properly. So we now have two gigabytes of memory, so we should be able to move a little bit faster on this thing. And it's always a thing writing the ETL systems because ETL takes a while. It takes a while to take all your data and take it from one form and transform it into another and push big amounts of things all over the place. It's just a it just takes time and effort. Got to load all the data in the database. All right, so that's the game data ETL. Looks like that worked. So the all data ETL. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the game session events. So let's see how many events we actually loaded. 112,000 events. All right, the all data is going. Let's see how many events we got rocking around there in a the moment. 53,000 so far, so it's loading them as fast as it can. Well, it's doing the thing, which is pretty awesome. I suppose I didn't have a headache. See how many events we got now. Under twenty thousand. Under twenty thousand. Excellent. What's this event level? It's hard to hard to hard twenty thousand. All right. So now we want to do our match heat maps. So let's kick that off and see what it does. It's not possible. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Kerry, it's like ignore, ignore Lucas. <laughs> Keep working on things. <laughs> I 
How many 10 minute intervals are there in 24 hours? So how many minutes? So that's 24 times 60 divided by 10. So 144. And let's say this is taking 500, so 0.5. So it's going to take at least a minute to have this thing load everything in, I guess. All right. Well, everybody can watch the progress bar then. Oh, it's creating the images now. It actually did that a lot faster than I thought it would. Uploading all of our images. Are you are you for real? Okay, this is actually an interesting picture. <laughs> That's it actually worked. What the fuck? So, here's a, a heat map for Maelstrom. Now, you might notice a few things here. Um this is a heat map for positions on their first map. Uh, you might notice that there's a lot of really hot zones around here. Um, yeah, some of those guys. Um, yeah, so the top right corner of the map is like everybody central, and that's going to be where everybody spawns into the in game lobby. And then every one of these little spokes out here is obviously probably a spawn point for spawning players in. And then you got all the rest of it. This is our death map on the same thing. Looks like deaths are concentrated on a few areas. And this is a combined map. And it's basically showing the places that are yellow are the places where a lot of people are and then a lot of people die at. So basically the yellow areas are going to be the areas you don't want to hang out. Because there'll be places where people are often and die often. Well actually no, that would be, that would be good places to go visit because... Would it be a good place to visit? I don't know. Anyway, so heat maps. I still think this is the most interesting map, though. The other interesting map is this guy. This is their second map. <laughs> and see, a lot of people are like around the edges and everything. I don't know. It's interesting. Alright, so the next thing that I need to do is I need to change these jobs and scripts and all that crap. Alright, 
I'm going to Let's see if this works. Uh, it's kind of cumbersome doing all this. All right, well, that's information. Um, the next thing that I need to do is I need to set these game data jobs to be a little bit better. So fill game data, we're going to do every hour. And fill all events, we're going to do every hour as well. I guess fill user sessions should also be every hour just because and generate heat map will be over the last 24 hours yeah that makes sense all right so let's snag these scripts and throw them up into s3 for this stuff all right all right operations tools scripts telemetry Let's upload all of you. All right, so I need to set all these guys to run. Periodically. Okay, so that's good. Um, what I need to do is sync the build tools out there and make sure I got the right stuff on them. And I respond to that only keep living until I. Okay. <laughs>
There's a shop two houses down the street, and they don't oil their door, so what, is it creak, and it's just awful, and everything is terrifying and bad? I ran the wrong job. I wanted sink build tools. Alright, so let's make sure it actually runs with the ETL of the game data. It's just creaking like hell. It's like an old man trying to lift a cast iron furnace. All right, ETL and game data worked. ETLing all data. Let's just double check you. ETL all data worked. Uh, yeah, so ETL user sessions. Let's also do that guy. Let's also make sure that it's set to one hour jobs. It is. Well, that's pretty awesome. So it's just besides from the cheering of the idiots frequently. Yeah. Well, that's just how it is sometimes. So let me look at a few other things here. So why don't I look at this data? So we've got our machine IDs. We've got our things. So I want, is there a get count of unique values MySQL? What is that, just distinct? Select count distinct column names from table name. All right, so it's going to be select count of distinct, let's see, machine ID from this. All right, so that gives us how many machine IDs there are. How about user ID? All right. How about distinct sources? Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. Let's see, what about session ID? Where is session ID? Yeah, it's just session ID. So session ID, machine ID, user ID. Let's see what their playfab IDs are. Play fab ID. Hmm. 